in this video. I'm gonna show you how to play 1985 by Bowling for Soup, off of their album, A Hangover You Don't Deserve. And if that sounds good to you, smash that like button and stay tuned. What's up, Alt Rockers? America's favorite guitar playing ginger is back with another guitar lesson. If this is our first time meeting, my name is Scott, and on this channel, we learn how to play the best rock songs of the past and how to produce the best rock songs of the future. Leave a comment down below if Bowling for Soup was your favorite pop punk band. And let's dive in. This song's gonna be in standard tuning and it will open with this riff. So it's gonna open with this octave swipe riff that's gonna sound like this. Okay, so again, that's octave swiping. We're gonna start fourth fret, fifth string. That'll include sixth fret, third string. And we're gonna hold that octave shape throughout this. So we're gonna go four up to six, then two, four, six, then two, four, two, four, six, four, two. So all together, Okay, so, and the picking for that is gonna be like this, so. Okay, so when we're picking, we're gonna pick one slide, then we're gonna pick once here, slide up for both of those, and then pick once for that, then pick four up to six, and then four down to two. So. Okay, now at this point, it'll pick up with the rhythm guitar, and that part will be this. And then it goes into the verse. So that part is just two hits, second fret, six string power chord and then rest your fingers on the strings and do a little chicka there and then repeat. Okay, so that's four times and then into the verse. As I said, there is a rhythm guitar underneath that and the rhythm guitar will be playing this. So it'll sound like this. So all that is is power chords. Starting second fret, fifth string, straight eighth notes with the right hand. Then open sixth string. Then fourth fret, sixth string. And then second fret, sixth string. And repeat. And it joins up with the other guitar. And into the verse. The verse is a pretty simple power chord part. So all you're gonna be doing is just hitting twice and resting. Same power chord sequence that we used in the rhythm guitar in the intro. So it'll sound like this.
and it just repeats. So same two open four two sequence is just the first two eighth notes and then rest. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, 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 two, three, four. And then it kind of slides into the pre chorus section. Pre chorus is the exact same power chord sequence. So we have the exact same power chord sequence here. We're just palm muting this time, palm muting eighth notes. Now at this point, we do what we did at the end of the intro. And then we slide into the chorus. There is a lead guitar part in that pre-chorus over top of those power chords. So we're playing those muted power chords here in the pre-chorus. There is a part that plays over top of that and it'll sound like this. and that'll repeat. So what we're doing here, we're starting eighth fret on the third string. I'm playing that with my middle finger. Then I'm barring seventh fret, second and first string with my first finger. And to start, I'm gonna have my pinky on the ninth fret of the first string. Okay, so this is what your hand will look like here. And we're gonna play this, third string, First string, second string, third string. So at this point, we lift the pinky off and play three, two, one. Uh, sorry, first string, second string, third string again. And then back to first string. So all together slowly, that's this. and then it repeats. Okay, three times there, and then it comes down. We'll play six string, sorry, six fret, third string with the first finger, seventh fret, second string with the middle finger, and I'm gonna bar with my first finger so I can play sixth fret first string with my first finger as well. And then we're gonna play the same pattern. And then we slide back up to that first chord. So all together slowly. And back up. Okay, and at this point, it'll join up with the rhythm guitar again for this second fret power chord in the chickas. And then slide into the chorus. In the chorus, we change up the power chord sequence a little bit. So we'll be starting on the same chord that we did on in the intro. Second fret, fifth string. Straight eighth notes with the right hand. Then open sixth string. Then fourth fret, sixth string. So everything's the same up to that point. Now here, instead of going down to two, which is what we would do in the intro, we're gonna go up to five. Fifth fret, sixth string power chord and then repeat. And then we're gonna do the two hits and the chickas on the fifth fret this time. Mm. And 
and then we'll slide back into the intro. So now we'll do an abbreviated version of the intro. So we'll have those same octave swipes. Okay, and then it'll go right into the second verse. And that same rhythm guitar part is playing underneath, so we still have the same power chord structure underneath. Into the second verse. Second verse is exactly the same as the first, but there's an added guitar. So we're still playing this. The rhythm part's still doing this. Okay, it's a fairly simple part there, but now we introduce a lead guitar part here that'll sound like this. Okay, so what we're doing here, these are all, these are all partial forms of major and minor chords. Okay, so what we're gonna do is bar, fourth fret, fourth, third, second string. Okay, we're just playing quarter notes here. Okay, then what we'll do is play this partial form. So I'm gonna leave that bar in place. I'm gonna put my middle finger on the fifth fret of the second string and my ring finger on the sixth fret of the fourth string. Okay, and that bar is still playing fourth fret, third string. So it's this. Okay, so that first chord is this bar. And we add those two fingers, that's the second chord. Okay, now I'm gonna bar fourth fret, first, second, and third string. Okay, this is a partial minor chord here. Okay. And then I'm gonna come down here, play third fret, third string with my middle finger, and then bar second fret, second and first string with my index finger. Okay. And then it'll repeat. At this point, we enter a second pre-chorus exactly the same as the first. So we have that palm muted part. And we still have that lead part over top. Coming out of that pre-chorus, we'll enter the second chorus exactly the same as the first. At this point, we enter the solo. Okay, so the solo lead part here will be this. It'll sound like this. So to play that, 13th fret, 4th string to start, then 11th fret, 9th fret. And we slide out and then slide back in, 9, 11, 13. Then 13, 11, 9 again. Then we move to 8th fret, 3rd string, and we're gonna do half step bends here. Okay, we'll pick each one. Okay, and then we slide here from 10 up to 11, and then end on ninth fret, four string. So all together. And the rhythm part is still playing that same power chord sequence. So it's the same. This 
that same power chord sequence we've been playing in the intro and throughout the song. At this point, we enter the bridge section. Now in the bridge, it sounds like there's several guitar parts going on. Uh, and there's also a bass and I think some keyboard parts as well. But what we're gonna do is try and break down the guitar into two parts here. So the first guitar is gonna be playing this. It'll sound like this. So what that part is, is we're starting fourth fret, third and second string, and then second fret, first string. So playing strings three, two, one. Okay, now I move index finger, second fret, fourth string, and I'm gonna bar so I can play, so I can still play the second fret of the first string. Now I'll play four, two, one. Okay, so my ring finger and my pinky haven't moved. The only thing that's moved here, my index finger is reaching across to play second fret fourth string and barring so I can also play second fret first string. And we're playing strings four, two, one. So the first two arpeggios there. Now I'm gonna reach one more string over, second fret, fifth string now, everything else stays the same. Now I'm gonna play five, two, one. Okay, five, two, one. And then I'll reach one more string over and I'll play six, two, one. So all together. Okay, I'll start to repeat. Okay, and then at this point it'll slide into the same two strum chicka pattern we've been using. The other guitar will be playing this part. So we'll be up here on the 12th fret, second string and ninth fret, first string. It'll sound like this. and then it will repeat. So I'm just alternating 12th fret, second string, 9th fret, first string, back to 12th fret, second string. And now this part, 11 on the third string, still nine on the first string, and then 11 on the second string, and then it repeats. Okay, so just so we have the timing right there, this comes not on the downbeat of one, it'll sound like this. So we have a count in one, two, three, four, one, two. At this point, it joins up with that other guitar. Stop. Okay, so they literally stay they literally say stop at the end of that bridge, so we just don't play anything. And then it, and then when it the vocal picks up, we'll pick up with the last chorus. Last chorus is the same as the others, it's just extended. So we'll play through the same power chord sequence. <laughs> Was 1985 the best Bowling for Soup song? 
comment down below. And while you're down there, click the subscribe button to join the congregation and get more guitar lessons and videos every single week. Thanks so much for joining me. And remember, hug the gingers in your life because we do, in fact, have souls. <laughs>